For the first time in history, the U.S. Supreme Court will weigh in on whether a former president can be indicted for actions taken during their time in office. Tomorrow, the justices will hear oral arguments about former President Trump's claim that he cannot be prosecuted for his actions involving January 6. National correspondent Ultra Elnishar brings us a preview. Former President Trump bringing his untested legal claim to the Supreme Court that all presidents must have complete and total presidential immunity or the authority and decisiveness of a president of the United States will be stripped and gone forever. According to special counsel Jack Smith, Trump's actions toward the end of his presidency amount to conspiracy to defraud the United States, obstruction and conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, and conspiracy to prevent others from carrying out their constitutional rights. The president has a unique constitutional role, but he is not above the law. Trump's lawyers say a president can only be prosecuted if Congress indicts and convicts him. To authorize the prosecution of a president for his official acts would open a Pandora's box from which this nation may never recover. The top Republican in the Senate said quite the opposite after the impeachment trial in February 2021, shortly after Trump left office. The impeachment was never meant to be the final forum for American justice. President Trump is still liable for everything he did while he was in office. The lower courts rejected Trump's argument and many legal scholars expect the Supreme Court to do the same, but the justices could go further. Instead of asking if presidents have absolute immunity from prosecution, they're now asking whether and to what extent. It's likely that the court will use this case to carve out a broader precedent. When the court releases its decision is almost as crucial as the decision itself. It's very likely we wouldn't see a decision until the very end of the term, think the end of June. Um, and so if the court was to send it back down to a lower court, it's highly unlikely that we would see a trial before the November election. If the Supreme Court dismisses Trump's immunity claim and does not send it back to the lower courts, the special counsel's team could get their case back up and running right away. But even then, they'd be pressed for time to get their case in front of a jury before Americans vote in November. In Washington, I'm Atrel Najjar.